Hi, welcome to Tuesday Tapping and Other Energy Modalities. Today we're going to talk about fear. A lot of people, including me, are feeling some level of anxiety or fear, and some people are feeling extreme anxiety and or fear. And so I wanted to give you a tool, show you how to use tapping to help reduce fear. The um, tapping points that we've been using are part of what's called uh, the shortcut version of EFT. And that's where we do the set of phrase and then we tap on eight points. So today I'm going to introduce you to a few more points that are specifically helpful for fear. Um, the one point that is really directly related to reducing fear is called the triple warmer or the gamut. And it's located on your hand in the tendons between your uh, pinky and your ring finger. So right in that area. And you can tap it or you can massage it. And I give you the tip about massaging in case you're out in public and feeling anxious. You can just casually massage that point to help reduce your anxiety. So we're going to get started with, as usual, um, checking in and identifying your SUDS level. How fearful or anxious are you? On a scale from 0 to 10, 0 would be no fear at all, and 10, extremely anxious or fearful. Okay, and then we're going to begin with the karate chop. Even though I'm feeling very fearful, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel so anxious, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel very afraid, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. All of this fear. I feel so afraid. I don't even understand what happened. I don't understand how this could happen. It's like I went to bed, fine, and then woke up and my whole world had changed. And now I'm afraid. And I'm upset. And I don't even understand what I'm seeing. I'm afraid of what's going to happen. And I don't know what's going to happen. Take your hand, go to the karate chop. All of this fear. Now tap on the edge of your finger at the nail bed. So much anxiety. Then go to the next finger. So much fear. Now skip your ring finger and go to the pinky. So much anxiety. Now go to the triple warmer. I feel sick. I feel so fearful. It's making me feel sick. Karate chop. So much fear and sadness. I'm seeing people being mean to each other on television. People are writing terrible things in social media. So much anger and hatred makes me afraid. Makes me sad. Makes me anxious. Every time someone even talks about it, I get a pit in my stomach. So 
so much fear. So much anxiety. I don't know what I can do to feel better. I want you to take a deep breath in. <sighs> Let it out. Check in on your suds level. See if it's come down a little bit. It's not going to come down a lot quickly. You have to really do a lot of um, rotations of the sequence to get it to come down. But you can get it to come down. And that's important so that you can think clearly and you can respond to whatever you're being presented with. Now what I would suggest you do is do those rounds until you get your suds level down to about a 5 or a 4. And then you can start looking for solutions, real solutions of what you can do. Because once your suds level comes down like that, that means blood is being returned to your brain. You know, it, it's pulled away from your brain when you're in the stress response and is sent out to your limbs, your arms and your legs, so that you can run or fight. Part of the anxiety that we're feeling includes helplessness. We don't know what to do. So once you get the fear level down a little bit, then you can start thinking of alternatives of what you can do. So you can start, you can switch and start tapping um, to things like, what can I do? Is there something I could do now that would make me feel better? Is there something I could do now to make others feel better? And then you can start thinking of your solutions. One big one would be turn off the TV and stop reading social media for a few days. Because each time you see it, you get re-triggered and your anxiety goes through the roof. The truth is none of us know what is going to happen. And our brain goes to the worst case scenario. It's designed that way to protect us. But in this case, it's not so helpful in getting through your day-to-day -day life. So you want to try to get yourself calm. It's very important that you recognize that you're not alone. Lots and lots of people are feeling just like you right now. So the best thing we can do as a community and for ourselves is to try to reduce that level of anxiety and fear so that we can come up with positive solutions. If you're out in public and you begin to feel triggered, you feel an anxiety attack coming on maybe, um, you start to feel very fearful, you can, again, massage or tap the triple warmer. Or the other thing you can do is remember that the K29 point, I'm sorry, K27 point is um, self-regulating. This also calms you down. But this tends to calm you down more in general. This specifically addresses fear. So you can use those two points, though, until you can get to a place of privacy and really do a tapping session for yourself. I really hope that helps. We'll get through this together. And in the meantime, I hope you have a very peaceful day.